Hello everyone, Meg Loves Games here, and welcome back to another video. I am still ill. So, uh, yay for that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, well, let's get into a room build. I don't know what I'm gonna build today. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm feeling something, I'm not gonna lie, something, something reasonably simple, to be quite honest, because I'm, I'm sick and lacking all creative function whatsoever. So, um... <laughs> Kitchen? Kitchen sounds good to me. Kitchen always sounds good. Kitchens are the best thing to build in The Sims 4, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, let's go with this shape. It's kind of funky. Um, let's pretend there is a doorway. If it would scroll. Yeah. And, um, arch. No, that's not what I meant. Windows. That's what I meant. Let's, um,. Let's try for something traditional. Maybe even tallen up, because tallen is a word. Tallen up the walls. Not quite that high. Maybe the medium. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. Let's let's go for it. And um, I'm gonna take a look at the uh, colors in uh, the kitchen stuff before I uh, continue onward with walls and floors and such. So, in the more traditional realm of things, we have this one, yeah, and we have this one here. Now, uh, let's see what kind of colours we've got. Uh, lots of black and whites in this one, and lots of lots of woods, as per usual. I, I do actually think I prefer this one, so I'm gonna go with this one. So, oh. Woo! You know, sorry for the lack of enthusiasm as I'm going to refer to it. I'm, I'm not unenthusiastic, I'm just sick. So uh, it sounds like I'm unenthusiastic. Uh, is that the right word or is that the right word? Well, let's, let's put one down and see. Simple as that. Oh, thanks, you did place. Thank you, Sims. It's that one. I just wanted to establish that. Besides, I want one there because it looks so cool. And then right next to it, we'll have like a fancy fridge. See, I, I like this fridge, but I'm like, is is it is it the right fridge for this place? And I'm like, no, no, it's not. Real fridges exist now, folks. You don't have that. See, I can I can do with a stove because those traditional looking stoves are kind of fancy and needs its own separate area. To be quite honest. Have we got like some kind of decoration thing that would work around it to make like a fancy stove? Probably not. This is The Sims 4. And there's not much in The Sims 4, but um... That could work. Let's get a medium one in as well. You know. Well that don't work either. Looks pretty cool. It'll be a slot for your salt and pepper. For when you're seasoning. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. And let's try and make these look more like... Nah, that looks hideous. Looks like you've got some kind of pustule. Um, yeah. We'll go with that. We'll, we'll, we'll deco it up at some point. <laughs> I haven't quite worked out when. Because I'm sick. <laughs> my excuse for everything I owed. I do I do actually apologize. I'm not I'm not a sympathy getter. I mean I don't well I get sympathy. I don't I don't go out asking for sympathy is what I was gonna say. But um I'm sure other people would probably be like, nah, you've been tweeting about it all the time. No, nah, it's just me complaining. I complain all the time. I can accept the fact that I complain a lot. And I suppose they could be misconstrued, the, the complaints, but I don't necessarily go out there with the uh, desire to go, I'm going to tell everybody how awful I'm feeling so that I get sympathy kind of thing. It's not my style, to be quite honest. Right, let's see what else we've got. Can we get a cooker hood? Is there a nice one that will fit with these beams? These beams? Right, 
apparently the answer to that is yes. It feels like part of something now. So there are a slightly different colour to these. Well that fits more, so we'll go with that. I also want to stick some lights in, because it feels very dark in here currently, and I don't like that. So I'm just going to stick some lights in, if that's okay with everybody else. Let's just assume it's been redone, but they've kept the traditional aspect, so lights are uh, the good ones. Um, I think now is a good time to wall some floors it. Now, um, tiles are always good. Old fashioned tiles are great. I do like me some. Ooh, I like them. That is what's going on that wall and on that wall. We've decided. And then we could have some beautiful exposed brick on this one. How's that looking? Kind of awesome. Let's do this and then on this wall here do some kind of nice plain paint. Because why not? They're all too, um, they don't feel neutral enough. Maybe that one. We'll go with that one. Right, let's uh, decorate the space up a little bit more. We'll obviously add some, uh, hmm. We could go all out on bricks. No, we should not. We should go with some concrete. No, the slap. That one. The beautiful sheeny one. I think that looks rather nice. Now let's actually finish decorating it. We need a kitchen sink, for sure. How can I not? I like that one. Oh wait, the you. Cool. Got it. Oh, that can go away now. Thank you. Let's also work out what we're doing with this space here. No, I don't feel like this is the sort of place that would have a uh, dining table in their kitchen, so. I'm just going to go and do this. Because islands are the best. And they use up space really nicely, so what's the harm in it? I'm just being lazy and using the mouse. Shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that, Meg. Alright, and then let's, let's shove a couple bar stools. Bar stools, as I just said, in. Let's. There and there. And then people can sit and watch the chefs at work. Because he doesn't love a good chef. Well, that's what I've been hoping my entire life, because I'm a reasonable chef. And I ain't got much else going for me, so. Football. Let's give these guys something to eat while they're watching Master Chef. <laughs> um, we could pretend there's a herb garden. No. Wait, that's that's huge. I thought that was the one in The Sims Three that was tiny. Obviously not. Um, oh, we can pretend it's a herb garden. That could be a herb garden. Let's assume that's a herb garden. Also, I reckon coffee maker would be good over here. Or teapot. Teapot. Who doesn't love a good teapot? Who doesn't love tea? Well, a lot of people don't love tea. A lot of people don't love coffee too. But I love both. I don't know why that's important to anybody. Whatsoever. But apparently it is. Tea and coffee maker. Let's get the, uh, my favourite thing in the world in. The mug rack. Because the mug rack is so me. It's like they made it for me. They probably didn't, but it feels like it. Let's get a milk pail in, you know? Something fun and tiny and traditional ish. 
why not treat ourselves you know where's, where's mugs where's my mugs there they are just like, help yourself to the coffee here's all the mugs well i didn't do a very good job of putting that in the right place Woo. i love all those mugs i think my favorite is the shark one yeah we'll go with the shark one now this feels like out of place being in the back but it's staying there and do i want any decor i probably want decor on this wall because it looks pretty bland and let's do a couple of these because these guys actually look really awesome when they're stacked up with each other Like so. How beautiful. And... Oh, I feel like that's too low, so let's shift this one up. Just a smidgen. And just a smidgen. And just a smidgen. And there we go. I like that. And, um... I like the room. I think the room's good. I think the room is perfectly great the way it is. And I think I'm done. So there it is, everybody. It's more of a traditional kitchen as opposed to the first one. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Apologies it's so short. And I will see you next time.